What's going on, TikTok? 92923. New York is underwater. This is. I'd be pissed off. I hope everybody's safe and you got insurance. Smash the heart, leave a comment, drop a follow, FYP. Okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> oh my God. What? One mile mark, one mile mark. Okay. No miles. I don't want to stop. My New York City is currently in a state of emergency due to flooding. Roads have turned into rivers as the flash flooding has even submerged LaGuardia's Terminal A, most of Brooklyn's streets, and suspended subway services. The rain is a hangover from Tropical Storm Ophelia and is some of the worst seen in New York City since Hurricane Ida in 2021. Everyone in NYC stay safe. I am issuing a state of an emergency for New York City uh, based on the weather conditions. And I want to say to all New Yorkers, uh, this is time for heightened alertness and extreme caution. Uh, if you are home, stay home. If you are at work or school, shelter in place for now. Uh, some of our subways are flooded and it's extremely difficult to move around the city. Many of our area airports are experiencing delays, uh, and if you are out and encounter a flood, a flooded area, uh, be it on a roadway or a subway station, uh, do not enter. Take necessary precaution. Uh, this is a dangerous weather condition, and it is not over. And I don't want uh, those gaps and heavy rain to give the appearance that it is over. It is not. Okay, guys, this is New York on September 29. This is crazy. Everything is flooded like bad, bad, bad. This is the subway. Water is coming from the top and, bro, I'm losing my mind. Like, what's going on? There are rats everywhere and you are on the bus, the water go inside. People are losing their mind. They're yelling. Um, there are holes, open holes on the street, so be careful when you're walking. And by the way, on the subway, there's electricity there, so oh my god. Just follow me for more. Okay, this is the book of Amos chapter 9 and verse 8 and it says behold the eyes of, of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom okay that sinful sinful kingdom is talking about America okay all right and I will destroy it from the face of the earth saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob saith the Lord and that's talking about your elect okay so first and foremost I want to give all honor all glory and all praise unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers uh, out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your calling election assured, seeking out your own salvation, as well as you sisters that are learning, listening, and applying, being obedient to your husband. Shalom, shalom. Okay, brother Zachariah, come back to you with another lesson on this Saturday. All right, and um, you know, um, as you uh, have heard, 
you know, or and seen the videos, the clip, various clips that I put in the beginning, you know, uh, New York is underwater. Now, it's not uh, all of New York, but certain uh, areas because, you know, brothers have been bringing out uh, certain videos showing where certain areas uh, weren't, weren't hit, you know, and and then you got some areas that, that were, you know, you got some that are um, underwater. You know, you got buses going through and, and all the water is, is crept inside the bus and, and everything, you know, uh, cars and stuff underwater, cities and stuff. So, um. Uh, we're going to dive into the scriptures and see what the scripture says about all this. OK, because, you know, this is when we talk about these things, we don't talk. We don't use our own words. We don't bring our own opinions. We do. We just say if the Lord, you know, we we can filter it through the scriptures. OK, so, um, you know, and I started off with Amos nine and eight because, like I said, um, you know, uh, a brother put a video clip out where um, Jake was talking about how. Uh, you know, a lot of the areas hit are more the like areas predominantly where uh, he said uh, Amalek live. You know, he didn't say the word Amalek, but, you know, he said the other word, you know, but we know them, you know, the the uh, Jew ish, you know, but they are uh, but they are their biblical name is Amalek. He said Amalek was being hit, which we know the scripture says that uh, Yahweh is at war with them, will be at war with them for generation to generation. OK. So that could be judgment on them, you know. There's a lot of Amalekites here in Babylon. You know, they're not just uh, over there in the Holy Land. Hell, we got, uh, there's a lot of Amalekites uh, dwelling amongst the Northern Kingdom tribes. You know, some of the, uh, you got a lot of them down there in South America, you know, for, for some type of reasons, you know. But the uh, Bible told them that they were, they were, uh, they were living all the best places. So these Amalekites, are not just in the Holy Land, but they are, they're everywhere, scattered, you know, you know, uh, fulfilling prophecy. It's not flooded in the hood. You talk about, it's flooding. Where's it flooding at? I keep seeing posts. They talking about it's flooded all over Brooklyn. It's not flooded in Brooklyn. Y'all talking about like Star Wright City. Ain't no black people in Star Wright City. Where, where? It's, 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 it's flooding in Bentonhurst? Like, ain't nobody black live out there. Y'all worried about them? Y'all really worried about them? It ain't flooding in the sty. That's all I'm worried about. It ain't flooding in the sty. It ain't flooding in Crown Heights. It's not flooding in Flatbush. We don't care. Anywhere else in Brooklyn, we don't care. We don't care. It ain't flooding in the projects. So why y'all keep talking? Yo, what the blood clot? When it start flooding in the projects, then we gonna take a stand as a community until then we don't care it's not flooding that much in the black community it's flooding in the in the jewish community that's why they making a big deal about it what you mean it's not flooding in brooklyn well not the part where the black people live at we go we go and if it was flooding where we at we know to stay in the house we're going to use that opportunity matter of fact if it was if it was flooding in the, in, in the hood we'd be looting Matter of fact, somebody send me the address of where it's flooding at. Because I know they got a, a sneaker store over there. Who with me? You with me? Okay. So uh, here we got uh, independent news and it says NYC flooding uh, live. It says mayor urges extreme caution with all five uh, boroughs under state of emergency. Okay. So this is they're under a state of emergency. And this uh, article was an hour ago. I was trying to look for the more latest one. You know, uh, cause like I said, a lot of stuff has been being brought out and being covered. OK, and it says latest developments as New York City is hit by flash floods and state of emergency is declared. OK, it says New York Governor Kathy uh, Hoku, if I'm saying her name right, uh, has declared a state of emergency as flash flooding wreaks havoc across New York City caused by torrential rain pummeling the northeastern uh northeastern u.s mayor eric adam likewise asked new yorkers to stay home or shelter in place brooklyn is particularly hard hit by raising water with shocking videos showing streets and subways underwater widespread outages and delays were reported on the mta the agency that runs city's transit system okay and that's all i'm gonna read on that but uh 
you know, uh, our forefathers in the in the past, you know, they had visions and things like that. And, and when they wrote certain things in these scriptures, a lot of times uh, when they were talking about Babylon or the, uh, the 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 great whore, the great harlot, and all that, they were taught they they saw New York City, okay? Which I can prove that. All right, and we're gonna go here to Revelation 17 and one. It says, and there came out of the seven uh, angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying, come up come unto me come hither and i will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters okay and when you think about that great whore that sits upon the many waters you know you got your statue of liberty look this one right here is a really good picture you know showing the waters and showing you know her sitting right there that's heavy man this is what our forefather seen. So you don't think judgment's gonna come? And, you know, and um, when you think of uh, Babylon the Great, you think about America, you think about New York first and foremost, New York City. All right. This is Revelations uh, 18 and 5, and it says, "For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God have remembered her iniquities." Okay. And this place is is man saturated with the blood of our forefathers. You know, our ancestors. Um, all the atrocities and crimes committed upon the tribes here by uh, by the hands of uh, our enemies, you know, starting with Esau, Edom, okay? You know, they came over here and the things that they done. So, you know, this place can only be cleansed by the blood of those that shed the blood, you know, and that's these Edomites. So judgment is going to come on them. So that's why when that, that Jake was talking about um, how predominantly a lot of those areas hit is where... Uh, your Amalekites dwell in, in, in other Edomites and stuff, you know, a lot of those. And that's why he said they've been broadcasting it so much because they wouldn't broadcast it if it was hit, if Jake was hit, because they don't care about Jake. But a lot of their areas is hit, you know. But, you know, your how about Shimmy I was shy, man, is beginning to, uh, you know, uh, visit this place, man. You know, one of the things is when you think about floods, because some people can argue and say, well, I thought, you know, Yahweh said he would never flood, flood the earth again. Oh, of course. You know, he, he said that he's not going to flood the whole earth like he did. But he didn't say that he wouldn't flood a city. He wouldn't flood a neighborhood or he wouldn't flood a town. or particular uh, country or something. He did. He said not the whole world. OK, because we know what happened with the whole world. Only eight people were delivered, you know. And animals, you know, certain animals. But uh, this, but to go back unto what he said in Genesis, we're gonna go. Uh, we can go over to Genesis, and this is uh, chapter nine, verse eleven, and it says, "And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there uh, any more be a flood to destroy the earth." Okay, so there's not gonna be a flood that destroyed the earth. All right. You know, uh, but he didn't say that a city wouldn't get flooded or, or things like that, you know, because these these small floods that are happening, that's minor compared to what happened back then with Noah. You know, they had to get on the ark. OK. But, uh, you know, and, and then a covenant that he made uh, it, by using the rainbow, which, you know, that could be a whole that's a whole nother lesson in how they flipped and did that. That's why his eyes are set on the sinful kingdom, because they done took something as beautiful and precious as that and, and try to turn it into something evil and sinister and, and make it into an abomination, you know? And that's why he's he's looking at this place, man. He's beginning to, to visit this place, okay? So now, you know, you got people, people are um, actually uh, trying to uh, catch buses and stuff and can't even catch the bus. They've been standing there waiting on buses for hours, you know? Yo, that's right here on a concourse, my nigga. Look, look at all the people, bro. No bus, no bus is working. Look at that, bro. They waiting for the bus on a concourse, bro. By the post office, P. <laughs> look at the post office. Yo, this is crazy. Look at all these people, B. Look at all these people. People, 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 people. Yo, let me know y'all know somebody. Let me know y'all know somebody.
And this will show you how that's also in the scriptures. This is 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 17. It says, and a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. You know, so with these, because of these floods, it's causing a lot of stuff. You know, uh, people are trying to get, get to point A to point B. Some probably still have to go to work, even though they're, uh, they're under a state of emergency. They're telling some people stay at home, you know. But uh, this is 2 Ezra 15, 17, which says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. OK, so even those that are trying to get out and, they, and maybe in their area where they're not flooded uh, because of the floods, the buses are not running. People were standing there for hours waiting for a bus, you know, that ain't coming. OK. So, you know, judgment comes upon this place, man. It is and it's gonna come fast, you know. Your how about shimmy was shot? It's not playing, man. Okay, this is uh Isaiah 29 and 6, and it says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise and with storm and tempest and the flame of divine fire, uh, fire, salaki. And um, when you look at uh, all the current events, you know, the countless lessons I've been putting out going into the current events. You know, when you look at the scripture, all these things have been taking place. You know, you're seeing all these things take place, you know, on, on a global scale everywhere. OK. And that's showing you that when those things are happening, you're being visited by your how by Shimei was shot. Even if some of these things are deliberately done by the hands of Esau Edom, you got to remember Esau Edom is the sword of your how by Shimei was shot. You know, he controls all all things, man. So even when they're doing things and they're thinking they're doing it on their own or their own power, it's really Yahweh Bashan al uh forcing their hand to do those things, which is ultimately him doing it. Okay? That's why he's a power to be feared, man. Yahweh Bashan al is not playing, man. Okay? This is Psalms 83 and 15. It says, So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. And, you know, they were getting hit with this storm, this uh, torrential rain, man. That This is ultimately to make you afraid, <laughs> you know, because he's a power to be feared, you know. You know, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of, uh, of wisdom, knowledge and wisdom, man. You know, so it, to obtain those things, you know, having that fear, when you fear him, that, that uh, allows you access into this knowledge and wisdom, man. Because now you know Yahweh Shai, man, is a, is a power to be feared. And, and you you will move accordingly. You will be careful about what you do, man. And like I said, this place, this sinful kingdom known as uh, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, you know, is being visited by, by Yahweh Shai, man. And there's going to be more to come, you know. It don't just end with that, Okay. <laughs> This is Jeremiah 47 and 2, and it says, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, waters rise up out of the north, and shall be an overflowing flood, and shall overflow the land, and all that is there, therein, the city, and them that dwell therein. Uh, then men shall cry, which they crying because they can't get to point A to point B, you know, and how about Shimon and Shai's flood in this place? Okay. All right. Then men shall cry, and all the inhabitants of the land shall howl. And that's what you're seeing. You know, like I said, we're in beautiful times, man. And Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man, is showing us. You know, like I said, we can, it, all these things that are happening, you know, we can filter it through the scriptures, okay? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. All right. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one. Shalom.